Welcome back to 2230, where we delve into the latest happenings shaping Singapore's transportation landscape. Today, we're diving deep into the ongoing saga surrounding the Land Transport Authorities (LTA) rollout of the new electronic road pricing system (ERP 2.0) and the mounting frustrations expressed by motorists. ERP 2.0, the much-anticipated upgrade to Singapore's road pricing system, promised enhanced efficiency and improved user experience. However, since its inception, it has been mired in controversy and criticism, primarily revolving around the design and implementation of its onboard units, OBUs. One of the primary grievances voiced by motorists is the cumbersome design of the OBUs, particularly the inconvenient placement of the cash card reader. Critics argue that placing the reader beneath the glove compartment or in the front passenger footwell is both impractical and potentially hazardous, raising concerns about driver visibility and accessibility. While the LTA has made efforts to address these concerns by implementing changes to the installation process, such as allowing drivers to temporarily deactivate their cash card and providing flexibility in selecting installation positions, some motorists remain dissatisfied. They argue that these adjustments are insufficient and fail to address the fundamental flaws in the OBU design. Moreover, the installation process itself has posed challenges for motorists, with some expressing frustration over the need to take time off work for installation changes. Additionally, there are conflicting opinions regarding the usefulness of the touchscreen display, particularly among motorcycle riders who prefer the sleekness of the older design. Criticism extends beyond the OBU design to encompass broader questions about the LTA's decision-making process and its disconnect with consumer perspectives. Some argue that the LTA has failed to adequately consider user feedback and implement a system that prioritizes both functionality and user experience. The public backlash against the LTA's handling of ERP 2.0 has been palpable, with netizens expressing bewilderment and frustration at what they perceive as obvious flaws in the design. Some have gone so far as to mock the new system, labeling it as a schoolboy innovation unworthy of Singapore's reputation as a smart nation. There are also concerns about the practical feasibility of the new OBU design, particularly regarding its compatibility with older car park gantries. Motorists fear that these gantries may struggle to detect the cash card when it remains in the processor at the passenger side, potentially leading to operational difficulties. In response to mounting criticism, Senior Minister of State for Transport, Amy Kaur, has defended the necessity of the OBU, citing its reliability and performance compared to smartphone-based alternatives. However, she has also acknowledged feedback about the OBU's bulky design and announced the development of a mobile interface for those who opt against installing the touchscreen display. In conclusion, the rollout of ERP 2.0 has been fraught with challenges, from criticisms of the OBU design to questions about the LTA's decision-making process. While efforts have been made to address some of these concerns, significant discontent remains among motorists. As Singapore continues its journey towards a smarter and more efficient transportation system, it is imperative that the voices of users are heard and their feedback incorporated into future developments. Stay tuned to 2230 for more updates on this evolving story. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content. What are your thoughts on the ERP 2.0 rollout? Have you encountered any challenges with the new system? Let us know in the comments below.